Make obsidian with a stone barrel. How do I do that? Do I just put water on top of a barrel full of lava? Obsidian. Obsidian. There we go. Obsidian. How do I make you on a fluid on top? Yeah, do I literally put water bucket on top of it? Cool. Oh, try that now, actually. I'll just slash that. And is this glug? Oh no, that needs a lot more in it. Right, let's... Yeah, for some reason the model on that goes a bit gimpy. Um, let's set that glugging again now the rain's actually stopped. Um, which is, yeah, let's set that melting away. I think that needs to be full of lava before I can get obsidian out of it. But hey, um, right, I can... Now, what do I want to do? Oh, yes, of course, back to hammering. I wanted an iron hammer, that was it. That's why I wasn't actually using the iron for... Iron stiffened meshes immediately. I actually wanted a hammer first. How do I make a hammer? What? Well, let's find out. Hammer. Iron hammer. Oh yeah, that was it. it was on the piss on the diagonal, wasn't it? Right, there we go. Um, might as well use up this old stone hammer first. And let's grab all this. Right, and... Ooh, stuff's grown. Yay! Ah, there we go. Right, now, this is a nice thing on this. You can right-click something and you'll harvest it. With that, you'll harvest it non-destructively so the plant will stay there and continue growing. Which is a nice situation to have. Oh, I've got so much food. Can I eat just a raw potato? That seems like a really bad idea. I'm fairly sure potatoes are poisonous. Well, fuck it. Clearly I'm fine. Uh, let's eat some carrots as well. I know you can juice them or something like that, which makes them better, I guess, but not necessary for now. Right, okay, let's... That's, that's, that's running nicely, so let's just go and build a load of that. I might make an iron wand at some point, it might be quicker for this. Right, if I've done that, does my wand work on that? Oh, it's in horizontal mode. Okay, so it can do five at a time, that's worth knowing. See, that is very quick for doing that and just laying it down, and then you can just... Vein mines all the way back, and then bam! Just look at that. You look how much gravel I've generated already. It is very fancy, very fancy. I meant to say handy and fast, and I said them both at the same time. Can't say I don't commit. No, I do. Can say I don't commit because I didn't. So what's our goal here? Our goal is a Tinker's Construct Smeltery at the moment. A Tinker's Construct Smeltery is a wonderful thing uh, that's a huge, like, floor forge onto which you basically just put in chunks and you melt them down into liquids, and then you then can cast those liquids. Um, so it's basically for working with molten metal, and it's much more efficient than just smelting ingots directly in a furnace. So that'll be handy. For it, we need seared bricks are the big thing, which I believe we actually need quite a lot of clay for, so I'll get through to that in just a second, actually. Right. That's generated us a fair few metals, I think. Ooh, look at that. A lot of copper. Uh, how's our hand doing? Iron's got 16, because iron's the limiting thing at the moment. Um, slap these in there. Oh, I can make another mesh now. Obviously, I've not got access to diamond yet, which makes the best meshes. Um, but also, that one's even more limited in the metals that come from it. I've got a spreadsheet somewhere that someone sent me that tells me what leads to what exactly. Um, but... Oh, I should probably slap some more cobblestone in the lava bucket just to keep that nice and topped up. Blah, 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 blah. Right, I'm going to make some more oak crucibles. Or I'm not because I don't have trees. I need to grow some more trees. Um, that's easy enough to do though. I can still do that. That one's probably not going to grow because it's like... Oh, it, well, I, I, I was wrong. What can I say? Come on. Yeah, basically I need more water because I need a lot of clay for my future plans. Because um, I need clay to make the seared bricks for a tinker's construct for a tinker for a smeltery so yeah oh the hatchet of destiny's broken again well where's my flint i don't have any flints at the moment damn i can't fix the hatchet of destiny no oh this is a bloody nightmare well i mean i can just make a stone hammer and that's you know what just as good not a stone hammer a stone summon i know what i mean there we go stone axe oh this might be the end of the um 
of, of the Hatchet of Destiny, because I'm not going to be getting much more flint anymore. Oh, well, let's put it away in, in there for now. All right, let's see how these clay shears perform. That wasn't bad, I'll be honest. Wasn't great, but wasn't bad either. I think you just use them on so many blocks at a time that just vein mining is always going to mince like anything. Ooh, let's run that through there. Yeah, it didn't do anything. Oh, well. Um, but might as well use these clay shears since I've got them. That wand running low on. Wand beans. But I've got enough access to stone now that stone tools are going to become the norm. So that's a good situation to be in, I guess. I made an axe. Where is it? There it is. Where did I put that? Oh, why have I got an iron stiffened mesh? Oh, because I made it. The real question, I guess, is why is that iron stiffened mesh not in the sieve? And there's no good answer to that, so I should put it in the sieve, really. Um, there we go, that's two. Excellent. Right, what's next? What do I need this for? Oh, crucibles, of course. I need more crucibles. This music sounds very Pikmin-ish. It sounds like the bloody caves from Pikmin, whatever. And let's make another three crucibles. Right, um... Let's sort some of this and put some of this... Oh, I've got a lot of coal now, that's a nice situation to be in. I think I can do quite a lot with coal. I can, I can make a block of coal, make a coal generator. That's cool. Oh, is that just I burn coal to make electricity? We haven't even got electricity yet. Cymetal Lens of the Miner. Coal generator again. Smoky quartz, coal seeds. Use it as a fuel. I mean, the fuel's the obvious thing for it, so let's put it in here for now. I'll take that out. Oh, I'm nearly ready to make another iron mesh. Happy days. Right, oh, cool. Right, crucibles. Um, really running out of space here. Um, I can put these across there. One there, one in there. And as long as I keep these topped up with leaves, these will supply water, which I can then give dust to make clay. So, what do I actually need to make seared bricks? Seared bricks are my crucial thing here. So, seared bricks need grout to be smelted. Grout you make by combining clay, gravel, and sand. Okay, so I need all of those. Clay, gravel, and sand. Gravel's easy to get. Sand is easy to get. That's all just hammering. Clay is going to be the challenging part there, or at least the time-consuming part. Right, let's start at least then on some... Sand. No, not sand. Some off oh, the bloody vines. Actually, in fact, I can shear them. And they'll go right back up to the top. Ha -ha. And then I can get these, and I can compost these. <laughs> um, that's amusing. I suppose they'll just keep growing down. I've made an unlimited farm. That's amazing. One, two, three, four, five. And where's me builder's wand? There we go. Right, so let's... Oh, doink, doink. oh my wand's run out of wand juice. Um, I think I press M or something to change the mode because they're on horizontal, but you can also be on like vertical for building up. Uh, well, I can't remember what the recipe for a wand was, so I'll just Google it by one by Google it. I mean, in-game Google, of course. It's like nine at a time. Ooh. Oh yeah, so it's just two sticks and a couple sticks. Man, that seems very easy for what they do. Wands are really handy. Um, let's build that uh, there. Is it M to change the mode? Yep, there we go. Horizontal. And that just tells me what the mode is. Uh, control and M to change it? Shift and M? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Alright, that's all the cobblestone I've got, so then let's smash that up. Oh, that was nice. Um, let's do that with a lot more cobblestone, actually, because I have a shit ton. Um, there's no harm in doing this. I should have made an iron wand and do it all seven wide in one, but oh well. Let's build up another layer of it. Ooh, I'm going to process this shit so fast. You can see I'm already getting much faster at like doing stuff. The cobblestone generator does help a lot. Let's um, switch to the iron hammer now. Oh, look at that. Now I've already made a dent in the hammer. Wonderful. Right, that gives me a lot of stuff to sieve. So, I've got some iron in here. That gives me four iron, which means I can make another mesh. That's the wrong pattern. They need to go beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, boop. There we go. And then I'll sieve this gravel I've just obtained actually through the these new iron meshes. I mean, I'm still technically missing one, but I think it lets me still do three at a time. Yeah, it does. Happy days. I'll probably upgrade this one to a three by three. I mean, technically they can you know, say as big as a five by five. Though technically I don't need to be doing this, do I? I need to be making dust so I can start making gravel. 
Not gravel, clay. And making sand and... So I do do need do gravel actually as well, so... Well, I mean, I'll just run, I'll run what I've got in my hand here through this, Steve. Um, and then we shall see from there. There we go. Right, got a lot of metals out of that, that was handy. Oop, a lot of metals hanging around there as well. Um, that, uh, I'm going to put some of these this stuff away. I've got a lot of composting materials again. I guess I'm not making dirt on much of a regular basis because I don't need it so much anymore. Nice position to be in, I guess. Um, right, so I need dust now. How do you do get through these walls, though? That's the only issue. Um, so I need dust in order for making clay for these seared bricks. So... Shall I make an iron wand? Is that wasteful? I don't know. How much iron have I got? Um, I mean, I'll make, make this little mesh first. Which I haven't quite got enough iron for at the moment. Um, I'll just make another couple of stone wands, because stone wands are so cheap. Um, I'm only going for one stone wand. Oh, it's because I've run out of bloody twigs again. That's uh, And... Don't have a cobblestone. Well, I guess I do. That's a damn lie. Um, I just guess I didn't have that on me as its point, which is fair enough. I'll leave that on wand mode because I can actually be using that for a while. Right. Whoop, 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 whoop. And smishy smashy. Right. Okay. Cool. Now, glug, 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 glug. And let's fill these up again. Oh, I can put the vines in them. I love that I managed to get vines. That's hilarious to me. Oh, what you... Oh, vines clearly aren't wet enough. That's annoying. Can I burn them now? Boop, ting. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Where am I? Ah, there we go. Got briefly confused, but it's fine. Right, so... Clay. Right, so I need to make... Seared bricks. Oh, it's going to rain. Oh, no, it's just night time. So for seared bricks, I need clay, I need gravel, and I needed sand. So I need... Well, I might as well. I mean, hang on to this dust, but then I think I'm going to get some more cobblestone. Grab some out here. I do like this. Definitely, This game definitely does go through, like, tech tree style progression. The early game was all about, like, dirt and stuff like that, and making trees and stuff, whereas now I'm definitely into, like, the... A different feeling region of it, um, which is quite cool. I quite like it, um, the way it does that. If I make this even taller, I should then not break it in one, so it'll actually be easier to rebuild, if that makes sense. Oh, run out of wand. Okay, uh, where's my iron hammer? Am I going to break this all in one? Let's find out. Whoop! Oh, that was cool. You can see why vein mining is praised for speeding it up massively. Right, I'm going to then take 64 of these gravel and turn them into sand. Um, right, I need a stick and then some more cobblestone to make another wand. And then we take that, there. How are these doing? Am I getting there? Right, I got me a fair bit of sand. Right, let's make some seared bricks, which are the crucial thing. Well, I mean, let's make some grout for now. Um, so seared bricks, I'm going to need grout. Grout is made from these gobs. What? Why, how, how, why are the lines in there? That's not necessary. Unless I can make like weird decorated grout. But I feel like that's strongly not so necessary. Right, seared bricks, and I just need to cook grout. Okay, I can do that. In you go. Cool. Let's let that run. Um, glug, glug, glug. And there's another glugger over here, isn't there? Yep. And let's fill that up with oak leaves, oak leaves. And oak leaves. Let's sift some gravel while I'm here. I'll sift some dust as well. I think dust on an iron mesh, I can get redstone out, which is an interesting thing. Um, yes, I can. I can get redstone and gunpowder dust, glowstone dust, and blaze powder from running dust through one of these. That's really handy. And those things will make a hell of a difference having them, because um, then I can start seriously weird automation. Right, so um, this can go in there. What else have I got? I've got food that can go in the food chest. Put them in. Casia seeds, apples. Now, then we got iron ore, nickel ore, lead ore. 
coal, I suppose we can go in there. Wood chipping, so I don't to do with wood chipping. Who knows? And then we'll put a lapis in there as well, I suppose. Right, okay. Let's continue saving. Ooh, blaze powder. That could be handy. It'll go in the chest. I need to start building some bigger chests as well. You can make massive chests quite easily. I think I'm going to do it over the food chest, actually. Um, now's a good chance as any to upgrade it. So, I'm going to make a storage chest. Storage. A uh, small storage crate. There we go. So, I need four chests. That's handy that that works. I didn't think it was going to. Or at least I wasn't sure. Right, let's make four chests and then we make a small storage crate. Oh, what's that need in the middle? Wood casing. What's in the middle? Wood casing. Um, logs, planks, and that. Oh, oh god, I don't have any logs, do I? Bollocks. Um, how many do I need? I just need the one log and then I need four. No, Wait, why can't I make that? What am I missing? Wood casing. No, no, I'm not missing anything. I just need to do the thing and then the storage crate. Right, storage crate, got it. Actually, additions manual. Where did that even come from? Oh, did I make that when I made the first thing from actually additions, which is that mod? Small storage crate. Yep, I did. Right, okay. Fuck, I think. Oh, nearly threw the farmer's friend. Can't be having that. Food crate. I'm gonna go over here. That's gonna have food in it and food and farming crate generally. Um, that, 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 and. Uh, gunpowder. Basically, any products of sieving are going to go in there. Um, ooh, I got a redstone. Nice. Oh, let's turn these final few dust into clay. And, ooh, another bit of redstone. Nice. Let's fill these back up. Oh, my crucible will be ready. I can turn that into obsidian. I don't know what I can particularly do with obsidian at this point, but I might need it later. Oh, nope, still needs a little more cobblestone. She has to keep it topped up. you got to fill this thing, so it's got to be, yeah, on however many it is when it's full. <laughs> Good one. Right, so, oh, I've got enough iron for a mesh, have I? Oh, no, I was cooking bricks, that's what I was doing. Right. Um, okay, I'm going to start ferrying stuff over to this thing. Cactus seed, seeds. Birch seed, 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 seed. Seed, 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 seed. Right. So, storage crates, massive, as you can see, really bloody helpful. Um, so that can go anything remotely edible goes in here. Anything that is edible or will one day intend to be edible, or anything growable generally, just just bi biological stuff, organics can go in here. Okay, that's quite handy. Now this one's just got crap left in it. Now that's just organics or organic. Stay in here. Oh, silkworm counts as organic, don't you? Right, these bricks are coming along nicely. Oh yeah, so what do I do with these? I make seared blocks out of them, don't I? Um, yes. So I need to make a fair few things. So. Let's see it first. I take this tank controller. Right, so. A couple of things. First things first, we need to make the smeltery controller. That's important. Um, because that controls the smeltery. Um, <laughs> well, it sounds obvious, but... So. Smeltery. So, seared stone is... And seared bricks is what you use to build the actual smeltery out of it. Then it also has to have various other parts. So the first thing that I'm going to do is make... Uh, seared. seared bricks. There we go. So... Eight. So, the tink the smeltery is an interesting block because it's a super block. So it's actually comprised of a load of other blocks. You'll see why as I build it. You need to start off with a three by three base. Minimum three by three. I will extend this later, but for now, three by three. Well, I mean, not quite because I haven't finished it. Because um, I need to set it, making some more grouting. I'll extend these <laughs> extremely minimalist fences over there. I do love my little wooden, like it looks like little wooden um, stone. Oh right, I can make obsidian now. Ha ha ha. Glug. Wait, what? 
Ah! Shit. Okay, well that's going somewhere. Um, oh, do I just need to place it on the block next to it then, maybe? Oh, that didn't like it. Can this be it? Hey! No, I don't, I don't want a lava bucket. Oh, fuck's sake. Come on. Oh, ah! Oh. Well, I mean, I've got a thing of obsidian there. I ain't gonna be able to move that anytime soon, because, you know, it's obsidian and I can't mine it without diamond. Which is ridiculous. Um, shit. <laughs> okay, so clearly placing it on top of it. Maybe you need a metal bucket to do it, because it didn't seem to like my bucket. Oh god, look at the regression meter at the top. Yeah, I'm not getting that done anytime soon. Oh well. Well, I guess that's a feature now, I guess. So, I need some sand. Not sand, I need some gravel. Ah, oh, dust. There we go, got it there eventually, didn't I? Ooh, wheat is grown. A fair bit. Um... Let's trim the tops of these off. Get a fair few more seeds out. Get them spud out as well, that's cool. Uh, I'll need to start doing stuff with this wheat before too long. Um, turning it into cakes and shit. That's awesome. Uh, more biologicals in there. I need to just a chest of shit. Wow, I mean, there is a way of dealing with shit. Um, that you can specifically use to, like, get rid of shit you don't need. Um, which I'll deal with at some point, but for now, let's... where's my other wand? There we go. Right, so... I need to clay up these things. What's this chest? Oh, that's the shed, isn't it? <laughs> now I remember. Right, okay, so... Need more grouting? So what do I need for grouting? It was sand... Clay... and gravel. Was it? Right, let's see. Grout. I needed. Yeah, gravel, clay, and sand. So. Make some gravel. Right, and let's finally make our clay real. Oh, I need sand. Um, I need another hammer. Crap, that's at the end of my iron hammer already. And those things don't last long. Just stick with stone for now, I think. So I need stone, stone, and then hammerhead. There we go. Right. Right, how do I make sand? Sand has to be from gravel, doesn't it? Right, what am I missing now? Clay, I have sand. Need more sand and more gravel, actually. I know it's gravel that's the limiting factor at the moment. Cool. Right, let's lay down a shit ton of cobblestone then. Quite frankly. Why does it keep being dark? Oh, it's that bloody thing above me. I was wondering, I kept coming over here, I was like, why is it dark all of a sudden? It's because of that thing. And there we go. Let's do that, 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 that. There we go. Oh, that one's slightly on the piss, but oh well. Let's see how much I can smash of that through one. Well, that was an entire hammer's worth. Uh, got me a lot of gravel, though, so hopefully I can use this to make some more grout. Which I can! Excellent. Right, let's do grout, and how many grout can I make? A lot of grout. So what's the limiting factor now? I need some more clay, so I've got my dust. Glug, 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 glug. You can kind of see at each stage what the thing I'm going to be aiming to automate next is. So now it's kind of, it's, it's smashing up things like gravel and things like that. It's hammering and stuff like that. It's going to be the next step to automate. Because, in a sense, we've got automated cobblestone production now, so... Um, I need to grab some more cobblestone. Oh, we need to put this grouting in the furnace as well. That's cool. Oh, well, there it goes. Fortunately, I have more ones. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, it's like some kind of crazy conveyor belt. Right. Let's bust a hammer on that. Oh, there we go. Right. can make even more grout now. So much grouting. Uh, is that grout? That's grout. Take some of those seared bricks out. More like take them grout, am I right? Awful. Right, and um, that's put them there. So it's now gravel that's the limiting one. Cool, I can deal with that. Um, whew. Hit a bit of a lull at the moment, I think. Uh, it'd be cool once we got the smeltery up and running, which it pretty much can very soon because I've got so many seared bricks and grout and stuff so um, 
so let's get things ready. Um, oh, I should make some fence stuff while I'm here. Okay, let's go cut up a fence. Uh, let's make some more fences, yeah. Six. It's not amazing, but it'll do. Ooh, redstone. I could at least have dirt automation getting ready in the background to run now. That's cool. Right. Um, cool. That'll at least stop me killing myself quite so readily. Um, I mean, I haven't done it yet, but I'd, st I'd still rather not, actually. Um, I've fallen off the edge zero times, and I quite like it that way, so. So, that's the base of the smeltery done. Now, we need two key parts of it. We need... Let's have a look, we need the smeltery. So, we need a seared tank. Just have a glass block in the middle of it. Basically, we need a seared tank in order to... Let's put some sand in there. The seared tank we put lava into, or some kind of hot fuel that's going to be responsible for melting everything that goes in the furnace. We need the smeltery controller into which we put ore to be melted, and we need a drain out of which we can then pour ore. So, in that order, those are the things we need. Um, man, I've got a lot of grout, so at least this should burn through relatively quickly. Let's pull some more coal out of there. So, um, let's start with the seared tank, which we've now got the gubs to build. Easy. So, I'm going to widen this out a little bit because I've realised I probably still do need access to most of this thing. Um, at least the way it's built currently. Go on. Yeah, there we go. Uh, oh God, I'm not getting really wood left. Who doesn't have wood? Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, did I put? Oh, I put trees in here, didn't I? Yes. Um, that's dark oak saplings. Where's regular saplings? There. I've got an axe there. Just grow some of these very quickly. Just get some wood off them. Right. So let's place that there. That there. Then I need some more fence parts, just to make sure I don't, you know, kill myself as ever. Let's go for fence. Ents, even. Um, I mean, that could make quite a lot. Let's do that. <sighs> Probably didn't need that many, but hey, I mean, we've got them now. That's, that's handy to have, just in case. And boop, boop, there as well. Right, cool. So, we've got our seared tank. Ready now. So the seared tank can go there. So we'll put lava and shit into there to get that a flow in. Then we need some more seared bricks. So some more grout in there. Now um, we need the smeltery controller. Controller. There we go. So that's just seared bricks in a square. Got that nice and easily. Then we need a smeltery drain, which is where the goop comes out of. We need a smeltery, what's it called? Faucet, because it's American. Oh, is it just called a faucet? Faucet. There we go, just a faucet. And then we need a casting table. And then everything else just needs to make the physical body of it. Cool. Right, so. I'm going to break this, which may seem really stupid, but there's a reason why I'm doing it. Bye bye. So, place the casting table there. And then we need to put the drain in front of it. The faucet coming out of the drain. And the controller over there. So, that's the basics of it. So, liquid metal will pour out of here onto the casting table where we do whatever with it. We have a cast on there, like an ingot cast will be the one I'll probably do to start with, and then you just cast things into ingots. Now we just need to make the rest of the structure just by building the walls out of... friggin... what's it called? Seared bricks. Um, which we've got a lot of in the cooking, so... Seared... Um, bricks... The number one. There we go. So, got six of them there, so we're nearly ready to roll. 